Then more news coming in uh, from Bangalore, which has witnessed massive protests since yesterday against the rape of a six-year-old girl in a leading school in the ID city. While protesters today gathered in front of a police station to demand immediate arrest of the culprits, there is seething anger in the city of Bangalore as suspects in the July 2nd rape of a six-year-old student still remain at large. Bangalore City Commissioner addressed protesters and assured them of action. Aggrieved parents staged a protest march against the authorities as well as the school administration. The state home minister had earlier claimed that the police have specific clues about the whereabouts of the accused. Well, the parents, meanwhile, are seeking a fast-track court uh, to try the accused after their arrest. The school administration is also being accused of shielding the sports teacher and physical instructor who allegedly sexually assaulted the six-year-old girl inside the school premises. Meanwhile, Karnataka Department of Public Instruction has ordered an inquiry into this incident. The show cause notice issued uh, states why the recognition accorded to the school under Karnataka Education Act should not be withdrawn. The school, in the meantime, has been given seven days to reply to this notice. There should be exemplary punishment. That's why, so that it's a deterrent to the future offenders. This could have happened anywhere and this should be brought in, uh, out in the public domain. Public awareness uh, should be created about this crime. See, uh, basically the uh, intention of the parents was to demand for a clear, without an unbiased um, investigation and justice to the victim, to the little child. And we were asking actually for the culprits to be given severe punishment. What we were asking for was safety and security of our child to be in and a healthy environment with proper facilities. The school was supposed, any kind of a school for that mat matter, the management has to ensure that the proper, they, they need to adhere to the labor standards uh, while uh, appointing their staff, whether it's our uh, teachers or whether it is any other support staff. This school should be stopped because they wanted to hush it below the carpet and this is something the school could have gotten a brand name had they kind of pulled the culprit out on the street and they would have given the justice themselves. Well, Ratnika Sharma is now joining us on the phone line from Bangalore. Ratnika, we've seen enraged city residents holding protests, people coming out in large numbers and these are not just people uh, whose uh, children go to the school but residents of the city who have now uh, come out and are demanding action and clearly not satisfied with the pace of investigation. Uh, right now, Blue uh, uh, Kukuba to see many parents have gone to meet the commissioner because he has said that he cannot address the entire mass of parents and, and tell them the investigators and what's been happening in the investigation. So he has called about a uh, group of about 15, 20 parents and they've gone to meet him now and, and kind of get a, a clear guideline and clear, in, uh, clear information as to what's happening in terms of uh, investigation. However, the letter that uh, the chairman has sent to parents uh, seems like some kind of a pacifying um, element here because parents are at least assured that the uh, the, the management will definitely cooperate uh, with the parents and with the police and get justice for the little girl. Well, angry, bang angry Bangaloreans turning out in massive numbers to protest uh, the the lack of action taken by police in this particular case, especially dragging its feet as far as arrest of the culprits is concerned. Thank you very much, Ratnika, for joining us.